So I told Joe before the session, Mr. Monroe has the envelope with your target. So when we get started, I want you to describe the target that Mr. Monroe has for you. Is that okay, Joe? And he said, yeah, that's fine. So he went into the other room, which was wired up for sound and everything, laid down on the bed. Mr. Monroe adjusted the hemisync sounds. Joe got into a very deep meditative state and started talking with a very groggy sort of a voice. And we began the session. Using the information in the envelope, focus on 40.89 degrees north, 9.55 degrees west. Well, let's see what it looks like. Uh, well, that's what it looks like. I've got an oblique view of a uh, pyramid, a pyramidal form. Mm, it's very high. It's kind of sitting in a large depressed area. Alright. It's yellowish, uh, okra colored. Alright. Move in time to the time indicated in the envelope I provided you and describe what's happening. The impression of severe, severe clouds, more like dust storm, uh, geologic problem. Oh. Seems to be like a, uh, I'm going to iron this out, it's a little weird. Just report your raw perceptions at this time. You're still mm, early in the session. I'm looking at an after effect from a major geologic problem. Okay, go back to the time before the geologic problem. Mm, mm, total difference. It's, uh, before there's no, uh, uh, no oh, hell. It's like mounds of dirt up here. And they disappear when you go before. You see uh, large flat surfaces, very uh, with angles, walls. They're really large, so I mean they're megalithic. Uh, um, um, at this period of in time now, before the geologic activity, look around, uh, in and around this area, see if you can find any activity. You're saying, uh, it's like a perception of a shadow of people. Very tall, and it's only a shadow, it's as if they were there and they're not, not there anymore. Go back to a period of time where they are there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's like I uh, get a lot of static on the line and everything. It's uh, breaking up all the time. Very fragmentary pieces. Just report the raw data. Mm -hmm. Don't try to put things together, just report the raw data. I keep seeing very large people. They appear thin and tall, but they're very large. Uh, wearing some kind of strange clothes. They're wearing some kind of strange clothes. Well, the story goes on in this particular situation of actually getting in some sort of perhaps telepathic connection with one of these individuals and having that individual then explain to Joe what happened. Why is it that the planet is devastated? What was this all about? We looked at eight different locations around the planet Mars, found some interesting structures, interesting um, perhaps buildings, and one of which turned out to be maybe an underground um, what we might call today is a bomb shelter. It seems that these beings uh, knew that there was going to be some sort of catastrophic event and attempted to create or design some sort of suspended animation or uh, what do they call it now? Cryogenic freezing kind of concept. Not that it was cryogenics, but some sort of suspended animation protective place so that they, their species might survive this cataclysm. They knew this cataclysm was coming. When I asked Joe to describe this, um, under the idea thinking in my head, is this, was this like a nuclear war or something? And I didn't suggest that to him. He said, no, this is the result of some cosmic event, as though the planet was struck by a comet or a meteor which ripped its atmosphere off and destroyed everything. Now, we don't know time-wise when this is, because we got lost in time in the remote viewing, okay? 
And he described a very interesting scenario of not only these people attempting to hide from and create some sort of suspended animation, but that it's been too long. They're gone now. It's been too long. They, didn't, they weren't successful in getting to a suspended animation state and then later being, being recovered in some way. It's been too long. But in addition to that, apparently some of them left the planet. And I say apparently because Joe doesn't know he's on Mars, but he says there's some people that go away in some sort of a um, curved object that reminded him of a boat, and they went to someplace else to try to uh, avoid this cataclysm. 